Good evening on this fourth Wednesday of Lent. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The devotional for today is titled Boundary Crossing Generosity. If you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. Paul makes an argument about the prerequisites of faith that we may ponder in Lent. Here, there are only two such prerequisites for following Jesus. First, confess that Jesus is Lord. Do that with your lips. Believe in your heart that does not include all the authoritarian baggage we have accumulated in our several church traditions. Only the claim that Jesus, not the emperor, not the system, not our class or our nation state can claim our loyalty. It's hard, but it's not complicated. Second, affirm that God raised Jesus from the dead. Lynn is on the way to Easter. There is no discussion here about whether it is a physical or spiritual resurrection, about historical realism or metaphor, simply the lean claim that executioners did not and could not keep him dead. Because God, that deep power for life, has shattered the system of death and made all things new. The Easter claim is not simply about resuscitation, but about a new reality in the world that is unrestrained by the force of fear or violence or privilege. Paul must become lyrical about this claim because the reality outruns all of our explanations and we may situate our lives in this most elemental claim of the living Lord who opens new reality to us. From that Easter claim, Paul draws a deep and decisive conviction upon which everything is based. The Lord is the Lord of all and is generous to all who call upon him. The defining fact or the defining mark of the Easter world is divine, cosmic generosity that outruns our need and our want and our hope and our desire to endow us with every good gift, most wondrously the gift of new possibility. There is no class structure. There is no exceptional tenure or entitlement. No riding in the back of the bus, no exclusion of Gentiles, women or conservatives or progressives or gays or whomever we fear and want to exclude. God is bringing the world to a new inclusiveness on the basis of God's own generosity. And God is now calling the church to engage that inclusiveness because all of our preferred distinctions are vetoed at Easter. Deep power of life, draw us into your boundary crossing generosity. May we be on the way toward others, toward new life in sync with the one who is Lord of Easter, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.